Hi everyone, Dave from Daily Tech TV here and I've got a question from Charlie William Neal. Magic trackpad or magic mouse? That is a really good question and I used the magic mouse before when they first came out and I didn't really get on with it. I liked the idea of the touch sensitive area on top of the mouse. That worked okay, but I didn't like the ergonomics of the mouse. It just felt too sort of narrow and slim. It wasn't very comfortable in the hand. Now I've only got medium size hands and even for me, it just felt too sort of small and sort of too close to the desk. So it didn't really uh, fit nicely with my working style. I still use it occasionally for Photoshop work, but my primary input device on the Max now is the Magic Trackpad. I've really got used to using it. I'll tell you why, and Apple were very clever in bringing this Magic Trackpad out. And that's because a lot of people use laptops or MacBook Airs, MacBook Pros, etc., as their main computers. So you're used to using all these multi-touch gestures on the trackpad on your laptop. So the Magic Trackpad was a natural progression for everyone and very easy to move over and then use that on the desktop. And I, as I say, I use it probably 98% of the time, even for all my video editing, I use the Magic Trackpad. So brilliant question. Let me know in the comments what you use. Do you use a standard mouse? Do you use the trackpad? Do you love it or hate it? Really be interested to hear your comments. Leave me some new questions as well, and I'll see you all in the next Q&A.